One in three Americans will be diagnosed with some form of cancer in their lifetime. Countless studies have shown that you're at a higher risk if there's a family history. And yet doctors say that people are still hesitant to do genetic testing. Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey has one woman's personal story. It was her daughter's third birthday, a day that she'll never forget. Not because of the princesses or the party, but because on that day six years ago, Amy Gallagher received the news that she was at high risk of developing breast or ovarian cancer. When I went in for my yearly appointment a couple years in a row, she was like, all right, well, you know, when they, ask, when they go through and ask you your family history of breast and ovarian cancer, she kept saying, I think you should see a genetic counselor. And I was like, yeah, all right, I'll go see one. It was the results of that genetic testing that prompted her at only 32 years old to undergo both a mastectomy and hysterectomy. You know, you can only control so much with your health, and for me that really helped me feel like that was one thing that I could, could, I could control. Gallagher's surgeon, Dr. Sarah Wildenberg, says patients with one or more immediate relatives with a cancer history and relatives who develop cancer at a relatively young age are among those who should consider testing. That's the goal of high-risk screening is if there's a cancer, we're catching it when it's tiny. Putting the patient at a much lower risk of developing advanced stage cancer. We want to catch it when it's treatable and curable. Um, and knowing those patients that are at higher risk, if we can screen them so that we can identify cancers when they're you know, stage zero, stage one. Well, that's gonna lead to them surviving a lot longer. Gallagher, who also leads a nonprofit peer support group for breast cancer patients called the Firefly Sisterhood, says her organization will soon be launching peer support for people like her who are high risk and may be considering preventative surgeries. Um, when people are at high risk for breast cancer, a lot of them kind of are seeking support or seeking um, services just to talk to somebody that's been through a similar diagnosis. Um, so we're going to be able to match them with somebody that's gone through something similar. As she believes knowing may have saved her life. I'm just grateful that I was able to have the opportunity to have those surgeries so that I can be here for my kids. Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.